Hi, my name is Samir Malik, and I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students in the Austin, Texas area. Today, I'm going to be discussing on how to solve for a range. Now, solving for a range um, can be fairly easy if you're able to draw a line on a graph or on a plane. So then you can find out what the values of the x values are or y values are and then solve for the range accordingly. So what I, what I would like to do is illustrate this by using, using an example uh, by graphing it as a linear e inequality so you can find out how we can solve for the range of the inequality. So we have our line right here and <clears throat> we on this line, we're going to draw values values of x. And we'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we'll draw a really thick line which goes from 0 to, 4, 0 to 4 as our line and then we're able to understand here and because it's a dotted line on both ends we're going to include 0 and 4 so we know here that x has to be greater than or equal to 0 and x has to be less than or equal to 4 from this particular equation. So now we're able to calculate the range by graphing it on an inequality and calculating the points of it and then solving accordingly to find out what the values for, in our example that I gave you, for x would be. Now, where you can use any variable you want to on a line, but you need to define which variable you're using before you calculate and solve for that particular value. 